Imagine stepping into an aircraft that hovers with calm precision, drifting in the air as if held by invisible hands. We'll adopt the high standards in aviation when it comes to safety, but also when it comes to noise. It reacts to every small command instantly, without tilting or needing wide spinning blades. It slides sideways, moves backward and rotates smoothly while staying perfectly level. This may sound like a vision of aviation's future. We developed the cyclorotors, which are a new electrically driven propulsion system for the aviation and automotive industry. Yet the idea behind it is more than a century old. What you are seeing is powered by a cyclorotor, also called a cyclogyro or cyclocopter system. In this video, we explore how this unusual propulsion works, why it once failed, and why it may finally transform daily air travel. Early dreams and unfinished attempts. The dream of creating a vertical lift aircraft without helicopter-style rotors began early in aviation history. Inventors wanted a machine that could rise straight up, hold position in mid-air, and fly with greater stability than the aircraft of their time. In 1923, Jonathan Edward Caldwell attempted to solve this challenge with his cyclogyro concept. Instead of traditional wings, his aircraft used rotating paddle wheel structures mounted on each side. From a distance, it looked like a factory machine rather than a plane. Caldwell imagined that these rotating wings could lift the aircraft straight up and allow smooth hovering. Unfortunately, the technology of the time was nowhere near strong or light enough to make it practical. Engines shook violently and produced inconsistent power. The materials available bent under stress and caused blades to twist out of shape. Aerodynamics was still a young science, so designers did not fully understand how each blade behaved as it moved through different parts of its cycle. Other inventors attempted similar designs, hoping to fix the flaws. Some built small prototypes, while others tried full-size aircraft, but they all ran into the same problems – excessive vibration, unpredictable behavior, and weak thrust. Many designs could not even get off the ground. These repeated failures pushed the idea into obscurity. Engineers agreed that the concept was interesting, but far too difficult to build with the technology that existed at the time. The cyclocopter remained a fascinating idea on paper, waiting for materials and motors that would not arrive until almost a century later. A modern return built on new technology. The cyclorotor returned only when modern engineering finally caught up with the demands of the design. Today's materials and electric propulsion systems provide strength, precision and efficiency that early aviation pioneers could only dream of. Carbon fibre allows blades to remain stiff under enormous forces, while staying extremely light. Electric motors produce high torque, without the weight and vibration issues of combustion engines. Lithium batteries can supply short bursts of powerful energy, which is exactly what cyclorotors need. Engineers also use computer simulations to understand airflow behaviour around every part of the rotor. These tools can predict aerodynamic forces and reveal where stresses will appear. Companies worldwide have begun to rethink cyclorotor design. One of the most advanced groups is Cyclotech in Austria. They have tested dozens of prototypes, refining the system step by step. Their current rotor uses a carbon cylinder measuring 420 mm long and 350 mm in diameter. Inside this compact frame are five carbon blades spinning at up to 3,100 revolutions per minute. Even with its small size, the rotor can push out about 25 kilograms of thrust. That amount of thrust, when multiplied across several units, is enough to lift a real aircraft carrying passengers. Cyclotech has already introduced concepts for a four-seat air taxi that uses four cyclorotor units each built into a compact 1.2 meter frame. The aircraft is expected to fly for about 40 minutes at a range of 85 kilometers and cruise at 150 kilometers per hour. Cyclotech's new air taxi uses four compact cyclorotors flying up to 40 minutes at speeds of 150 kilometers per hour. These numbers highlight how far the technology has come and show why interest is growing rapidly. How the cyclorotor creates thrust. 
Understanding how a cyclorotor works explains why it is so different from traditional rotor systems. Instead of large blades slicing through the air in a flat circle, a cyclorotor uses several short wings rotating horizontally like a rolling drum. Each blade connects to a movable hub through control rods. This hub is positioned away from the center, creating an eccentric motion that changes the blade's pitch throughout every rotation. When the blade reaches the top of the cycle, the hub tilts it into a positive pitch, creating a strong upward thrust. As it moves towards the bottom, the pitch becomes negative, pushing air downward. The net result is a steady upward force that lifts the aircraft, but the system does far more than lift. By shifting the position of the hub, engineers can change the direction of thrust instantly. This means the aircraft can accelerate, brake, turn, or slide without tilting its body or adjusting motor speed. During hover, the blades create upward thrust on the top half of their cycle and downward flow on the bottom half. During forward flight, the pitch changes in a pattern that improves aerodynamic efficiency. This dynamic pitch control is the heart of the cyclorotor's power. It creates constant airflow, precise thrust control, and extremely flexible movement. The blades adjust their angle dozens of times per second, giving the aircraft unmatched agility. It can respond to changing winds or sudden obstacles with a level of speed and precision that traditional rotors cannot match. This explains why engineers are revisiting the design with renewed excitement. Why engineers are excited about this design? The cyclocopter stands out for its impressive maneuverability. Because thrust direction changes instantly, the aircraft can perform movements that are difficult or impossible for drones and helicopters. It can slide sideways without turning, rotate on the spot, or hold position even when pushed by strong crosswinds. During takeoff and landing, this responsiveness creates a safer and more stable experience. Another major advantage is its compact shape. Traditional propellers require wide rotor discs to generate efficient lift, which limits how close they can operate to obstacles. Cyclorotors create strong thrust while taking up far less space. This makes them perfect for urban air mobility, where rooftop pads, narrow streets, and crowded areas leave little room for large rotors. The design also becomes more efficient during forward flight something unusual in vertical lift systems. As the aircraft moves ahead, the blades encounter smoother airflow, improving thrust and reducing power consumption. This allows the cyclorotor to blend the best features of rotorcraft and fixed wing systems. A cyclocopter can hover silently, accelerate smoothly and maintain level flight without using long wings or heavy lifting surfaces. The ride also feels more stable because the aircraft's body does not need to tilt sharply to move in different directions. These qualities make cyclo-rotor-powered aircraft strong candidates for air taxis, rescue vehicles, surveillance drones, and cargo systems. With growing interest in cleaner and safer urban air travel, the cyclorotor offers a unique mix of agility, efficiency, and compact size. The weak points that engineers are still solving. Despite growing excitement, the cyclocopter faces real engineering challenges that must be solved before large-scale adoption. The greatest challenge is structural strength. The blades face huge outward forces because they rotate around a horizontal axis. These radial loads are far stronger than the forces on a helicopter blade. To survive them, the blades must be strong and stiff, but strength usually adds weight and too much weight can limit range and reduce payload. Engineers must design blades that resist bending, twisting, and deformation while staying light enough for efficient flight. Even a small deformation can reduce thrust or disrupt stability. Past experiments showed that flexible blades could lose large portions of their expected lift. With today's carbon composites, these issues are improving, but perfecting the design remains complex. Energy demand is another challenge. Cyclorotors need high rotational speeds to produce useful thrust. Electric motors can reach these speeds, but battery capacity remains limited for longer flights. That is why hybrid systems are being explored. Russia's Foundation for Advanced Research is developing a six 
six-seat cyclocopter designed to carry passengers or cargo over long distances. Their concept uses an electric drive combined with a combustion generator acting as a range extender. Target performance includes a 500 km range and a top speed of about 250 km per hour. Early test frames show promise, and a full-scale version was expected to fly in 2022. If successful, it would demonstrate that hybrid systems may unlock the full potential of cyclorotor aircraft. Solving these challenges will take time, but progress is steady and encouraging. The cyclocopter has evolved from a forgotten mechanical experiment into a serious candidate for the future of air travel. Powered by modern materials and electric propulsion, it delivers precise control, compact size, and stable performance in ways that early designers could not achieve. It still faces challenges with weight, structural strength, and long-distance efficiency. Yet the progress made in recent years suggests that these obstacles can be overcome. As cities prepare for new forms of clean and flexible air mobility, the cyclorotor stands out as a bold and innovative approach. Its unique motion and unmatched control might soon reshape how we travel through the sky.